In this video, we're going to look into how to add a percentage or a dollar amount or any kind of extra fee if certain objects or elements are selected. Uh, and what I mean by that is certain products or services selected. Uh, basically, what we call this would be conditional logic for the custom math feature. Um, so basically, you're saying that you're going to trigger custom math depending on if uh, a condition is met. So for this example, we're just going to open up a new calculator. We're going to do this from scratch to make it easier. We'll call it uh, conditional logic for custom math, or also known as conditional custom math. OK, so now that we have a brand new calculator, I just put in a generic name and description. We're going to add a drop down menu for this example. And we'll say, um, uh, let's say services category number one could be anything. Um, doesn't matter what you do, but this is basically a group of services that kind of relate to each other. Uh, so we'll say um, service number one, we'll put it as $100, and then service number two will be $100 as well. I'll make it 105 just for simplicity's sake. OK, so this is where um, I'm going to show you kind of how this is going to work. So basically for this ex example, will work for kind of any different industry out there. So if you're, for example, saying service one's 105, service two is 100 um, or 105, sorry, for service two. But if service two gets selected, not only is it charging that amount, but you also want to charge like an additional fee. Um, what you're going to want to do is add the custom math option. Uh, and you're going to want to put a percentage, say, let's say 20%, um, extra 20% fee. I wouldn't say, uh, I would say extra fee because that 20%, um, I'll show you what it's going to look like uh, on the front end section here. Uh, it's already going to have that 20%, uh, the value from from the, the custom math. Um, if you don't want this displayed on the front end, you only want it on the back end uh, on the detailed uh, uh, itemized list here. Um, you can choose to do that through the advanced options. You can say display on front end or display on the detailed list. Uh, so that's totally up to you how you want to display this fee or you can take it off of both of them and only display it in the total. So right now you're going to get that fee regardless, right? So no matter if you choose number one or two, you're getting that fee. Uh, that 20% fee is getting added on. So we want to just do add conditional logic and only show, not only are you showing, but you're also, um, for the custom math uh, element, you're showing and calculating if this condition is met. So um, let's say it equals to service two only. So let's go ahead and refresh and see how this is turning out so far. Uh, condition number one, is $100, condition number two is the 105 plus the 20%. So you got your 105, you got your extra $21, which is the 20% calculated on top of that 105, giving you your grand total. So that's pretty much how uh, that feature is uh, has been developed. Um, it, d keep in mind that it works at the um, subsection level right here. Uh, so any custom math only, whatever elements, let's say you add more drop down menus. So now you have drop down menu one and two, or if you add, let's say a checkbox right here, uh, this custom math will always uh, add the 20% to anything that is selected in your subsection. So keep in mind that subsections are to separate the math of what a slider or a custom math element does. Uh, so if you wish for that not to be the case, um, then these, this drop down in this checkbox, you might want to add a new subsection and add those elements to this subsection here. And that's going to help separate that math. So that's pretty much uh, how that works. Uh, we're in the process right now. You can only add one custom math and one slider per subsection. Um, but we're in the process of developing uh, custom math to be added to um, to be able to add more than one custom math per subsection, but that's not out just yet. Um, another thing to discuss in this video super quickly is the email quote feature. 
Um, this is good to generate leads for the person to email themselves that quote. Uh, another use case for this would be you can remove the total price here so that people don't see the total price and they're forced to put in their email in order to see what the total price would be to get their, their quote and that's get a, a good lead magnet for you. Um, and we're developing a new feature right now that's in beta mode uh, where you can um, customize this form. At this moment, it's only your first name, your email, and an optional phone number. And uh, we're creating a, a form builder where you can add an additional field. Uh, you put in your field name, the, the uh, type of field it's going to be with a description, and we're going to have an option for you to make it mandatory or not mandatory. Uh, and that's going to be great for the lead generation, um, as well as uh, it's going to be linked up to Zapier if we're able to get Zapier to work uh, soon enough. Uh, this will be great to integrate into your CRM or anything like that. So uh, while you're on this video, I wanted to kind of go over that as well. And if you have any other questions, you can always head over to our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so just type in uh, Stylish Cost Calculator uh, YouTube. Uh, find our channel. We just switched over to uh, a new channel name. So make sure that the channel is from the new the new company. Designful is the uh, our parent company, but now we're doing all of our uh, videos under uh, Stylish Cost Calculator's um, own uh, channel. So if you uh, just find it on YouTube somewhere right here, you'll notice that this is the new channel right here. And if you go to playlists, you can see our um, templates, our user guides, and we're going to have other uh, video kind of categories, uh, making it easier for you to kind of find the information that you want, uh, as well as you can always go to our, our support uh, site that also shows you and categorizes all the different uh, help sections and user guides, video templates, uh, troubleshooting guides, everything is kind of categorized in its own section, making it easier for you guys to find the information that you guys want. Okay, thank you very much for watching another video.